Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! In the first video, I talked about Vue.js and how we will continue this new course. For this course, we will use Webpack to understand the complete development flow of a Vue.js application. In case you are building something more than a medium-sized application, then you probably want to use Vue.js in the best way. To do this, we will need Webpack. I will not explain on this video what Webpack is and what it does for us. For now, all you need to know is that we have to install Node.js. So just go to Downloads and download the Windows installer. Once the installer is downloaded, all you have to do is to open it. And the steps here are very simple, just next, accept the license agreement, next, 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 and install. Before we take the next step, I want to show you what exactly is done with this installation. Open your local disk, program files, and then node.js. So in this folder, there is another folder, node models, and here you can now see that we have access to npm. So if I open my command line here, we can run npm globally and you will get this outcome. If, if you get this, then this is fine. Of course, we can also get the version of npm, so npm-v, and this will give you the current version. Now time to install Vue CLI. Vue CLI is a command line interface that will help us to scaffold Vue.js projects. So let's install Vue CLI first and you will understand what I mean in a second. npm install dash g view CLI. So the dash g flag will install this model globally, so it is accessible from the terminal. Usually you use the dash g flag to install command line based models, like Vue CLI in our case and we will use the Vue CLI in just a moment. So for this course, we will use Webpack template. So what I have to do now is to use the Vue CLI that we just installed. So Vue init, and here we specify the template name. For Webpack, we have available Webpack, which will install the full Webpack template, and we also have Webpack simple. For this case, we will use the Webpack simple. The difference with the full Webpack template is that the simple one doesn't include testing, CSS extraction, and some other things, which for now they are not important. So after the template name, you just have to give your project a name. We will name this front. For these options, just press enter. Now, before I run these commands here, what I want to do is to go and grab the project and move it to the documents. So this PC and then local disk, users, Renato Husa, and this is the project right here. So I will move it inside the documents folder and this is where it is. So instead, what I want to do is to go and move to documents. And inside the front folder, perfect. So this is where I run now npm install. So this npm install command will install all the node models, so it will take some time. Okay, so here we are. After a couple of minutes, I guess, we have installed everything. So we just used Webpack template for our view project. Now in the next video, we will dive deeper, but for now, let's run this project. So I will run here npm run dev. This will automatically run the project and it will open a new tab on the browser. So I will just use the default one. I don't use Windows, so this is why I get these messages here. But anyway, this is your Vue.js application right here. And it is running in port 8080. Of course, if you want to take a look at what we have here, well, you just go to the front folder and this is everything. So in the next video, we will take a tour around these folders and files, of course, and we will see how we got this view page right here.